तीर्थ महाराज ओ तीर्थ महाराज या नाउ द यमुना रिवर नाउ वो ये एक रास्ता है वहां से वो एक रास्ता आगे मिलेगा सुनो 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 जाने का रास्ता इधर ही है हाँ सीधे एक ही रहे और कहाँ है ये शुरू हरी बोल Today you. This is where. You know which form this is? This place is called Bilva, and this is where Mahalashmi Dev wanted to join the Rasalila and the pastimes of Krishna and the gopis. But Krishna told her that she cannot 
that she has to perform austerities for many, 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 many thousands, millions of years. So this is where she's based, just outside, you know, Brindavan. We walked about two, three miles to get to this point. It's just a simple, small building, but that goes to show that she's really performing austerity. your name? Giri Maharaj. Giri. Giri Maharaj. Giri Maharaj. It's a very nice Maharaj. This is his face. Giri. And you? Sudhani Ji Vrajavati. Sudhani Bhakta Bhakta. Sudhani Ji. And uh, this is uh, Kirtan Lee. Yeah. He's, he's passionate with Kirtan. When he's catering, yes. everybody runs away. Uh, yeah. Yes, they, because they go away from his path. Okay, and then, yes, uh, Prabhu Nikunja Brahmachari. Yeah. He's pretending to be a Maharaj here. Brahmachari, who wants to carry? Uh, Sadhu Maharaj. Sadhu Maharaj. Uh, and very nice Kirtan Brahmachari. Yeah. Oh, you do Kirtan too? Very good. And we are all now at uh, uh, B Bilvan, where Lashmi Dev did all her. This one looks like uh, a big, big Bhakti Yogi. <laughs> <laughs> what? Rama Bhamachari. So they are all great. You, you are standing there. This one doesn't want to be in the picture. <laughs> so America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have one of the Bhamachari. Okay. 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 That's okay. <laughs> Sutra, Loki, 
মাসে প্রবেশ করতে না পেরে তিনি সেই আনন্দ থেকে বঞ্চিত হয়ে দুঃখ করে পরে তিনি এখানে এসে অভিমান করে তপস্যা করেছিলেন সব কথা বলা সম্ভব নয় অনেক বক্তা আছেন স্বামী ভক্তি তীর্থ মহারাজ শিবা রসরাজ প্রভু বৈষ্ণবান বলছেন তা আমি একটা আদেশ পালন করেছি এই ঐশ্বর্য মিশ্রিত বিচার হচ্ছে শ্রী চৈতন্য চৈতন্য বলছেন সকল জগৎ ঐশ্বর্য মিশ্রিত ঐশ্বর্য শিথিল প্রেমে নহিয়া আমি এই সংসারী লোক সকলেই ধন চায় ভগবানকেও চায় ধন চায় অর্থ ভগবানকেও চায় কিন্তু ভগবানকে চায় এমন লোক খুব কম কোটি কোটির মধ্যে এক একজন যার জন্য মহাপ্রু দুঃখ করেছেন মহাপ্রু যখন এসছিলেন নবদ্বীপ থেকে এইদিকে বৃন্দাবনের পথে তখন তার জহুরা প্রশংসা শুনে হুসেন সার রাজা তিনি দুঃখ করেছিলেন সকলে এসে রাজার কাছে প্রশংসা করছে কে একজন নবীন সন্ন্যাসী এসছে নবদ্বীপ থেকে লক্ষ লক্ষ লোক তার পিছনে যাচ্ছে আর তার কি সুন্দর চেরা দর্শন অতীব মনোহর সুতরাং আপনার এখানে তো সেই রকম কিছু লোক আসে না তখন রাজা দুঃখিত হলেন যে আমি রাজা আমি অন্ন বস্ত্র দিয়ে সকলকে লালন পালন করি মানুষ করি খেতে পড়তে দিই আমার কাছে লোক আসে না কে একজন নবীন সন্ন্যাসী এসছে তার পিছনে লক্ষ লক্ষ লোক ছুটছে ধরে নিয়ে এসো তাকে আমি তাকে দেখব তাই তার প্রেরিত দুঃখ সেখানে গিয়ে কাশিতে ফরেস্ট অফ বেল ফ্রুট সো দিস কলড বেল ওয়ান যমুনা মিডল পয়েন্ট যমুনা সো যমুনা ক্রস দা যমুনা देयर हैव ফাইভ ফরেস্ট এন্ড দিস সাইড সেভেন ফরেস্ট বেল ওয়ান দেন ভদ্রব মাটব ভান্ডিরব মহাব
so Putanaki. When he was crying, so Shakatasu demon killed. Catch Tinavartha Shu demon. So Tinavartha came. So all the demon finished here. This is called Dev Lila. But Sri Krishna is an ordinary life, ordinary boy. He is playing all the Sakha. So walking here, there, grazing cows, and everywhere walking, playing by flute. So one day Krishna came here. Then Sri Lakshmi Devi, long, long time austerity is here because she wants, oh, when I will pay? I will get Sri Krishna because Sri Krishna's Leela is a very great Leela. So I will enter in this Ras Leela. So her desire, but she could not find because she is a fortune of goddess of fortune. So Krishna came here, O oh, Lakshmi Devi. What do you want? What do you are doing, austerity? Strong renunciation. So sitting here, no food, no drink water. Why? What do you, your desire? Then Sri Lakshmi Devi prayed to him, O oh, Sri Krishna, please me, I want your Ras Lila is a very sweetness Lila. So I think. I will enter in your Ras Lila. Then Sri Krishna told Oh Lakshmi Devi, this is good, but I think you, when you left all the fortune, all um, lot of money, gold, anything else, and it, you will be gopi, and when you become, uh, will be gopi, then you will come. So, in my Ras Lila, Lakshmi Devi told, this is no possible because I don't let my fortune, so I am Brahmani, so I, this, um, a fortune, I don't let fortune, so please me, but Lakshmi Devi cried, Krishna, Krishna told, oh, this is no possible. If you another desire, so you want me, you want me, you call me, then Lakshmi Devi cried, Sri Krishna told, oh, I will take you, make golden line my chest, so I will take you, you are living in my chest, only gold, gold line, because you don't live fortune. So, gold line, Sivatsa Chinna, this called Sivatsa Chinna. So, Lakshmi Devi leave him in her, in his chest, this like golden line. But, he, um, but she could not go away in this Ras Lila, because Ras Lila is a Ras Lila. She lets me to be no intiatia. Gopi are full rose. They have maha form of maha bhav. Krishna all the time tasted this full, uh, full rose. No other things. So let me to be have a appulent mood. So Krishna don't take this appulent mood more I told now. Lakshmi Devi has an appulent mood. Sri Krishna don't take this appulent mood. Who have sweetness mood? Santa, Dasa, Sakha, Vatsala, Madhur, five types of Five types of us. So they serve Sri Krishna. Then Sri Krishna come in there. And they took all the service. And they are happy, a Krishna is happy. So Lajme Devi, Kal Jo Brahma Rudra Sulkanarda Bhisma Mukhai, 
रालच्छितो न सहसा पुरुषास्तस्य शब्द बोची करना चूर्ण मनमत सत्तीन तम सिराजी का परिचरामी कदा रसीन बिकर ब्रह्मार उद्र सोग नारद भीष्म दे आर ग्रेट सेज एंड ग्रेट गॉड बट दे वार सेव ओनली एप्पल एंड स्मूथ so Krishna was no happy when they have sweetness mood then Krishna will be pleased but they could not leave this affluent mood so they don't take don't see Krishna's past and leader but Sri Radhika see the Sweetness mood. So Krishna, all the sweet lila, she is looking, and Krishna, all the lila with Radhika. But they wanted, they could not taste. Who will be Gopi? Who has sweetness mood? They will taste. So Maharaj told. राधिकार दासी यदि होय अभिमान शीघ्र ही मिले ही तब वो कुलसा वही यार फ़ैन विल भी राधिका दासी दिस इज़ आवार ईगो गोल प्योर ईगो और वही यार राधिका आज मेड सार्व है then Sri Krishna will come at once. If no Radhika servant, Radhika's mercy has not come. So Sri Krishna never came. So our necessary Radhika surrender of Sri Radhika, Radhika's mercy. So when she will give me a Radhika, a full mercy, then will be pure love, Shuddha Satya Vishesh Atma, Prema Suryam Su Sammavhas, Ruchi Vish Chitta Master No, Kid Asav Bhava Bhujyati. Shuddha Satya means Radhika is great mood. Radhika is Bhav, when will come in my heart, then will be heart shuddha sat. So Radhika's mercy is our necessary. So here Belva, Krishna playing here. When Krishna took birth in this Prajabhumi, then Lachmi Devi, hundred, hundred, thousand, thousand times. So all the affluence, give him here, there. Everywhere, Sambhrama Sethyamana, Sri Lachmi Devi, all the time service in this Prajabhumi, all the uh, desire of trees and the desire stone, desire stone, Chintamani, so everywhere falling, Sriya Kanta Kanta Parama Purusaha. All the Lachmi, they are Mahalachmi. Brajagopi, they are Mahalachmi. They are Lachmi Devi austerities. But they could not find Mahalachmi, Sri Radhika's mercy. So, she could not take Sri Krishna's mercy. So, all the Gopis, they are Mahalachmi. Sriya Kamta Kamta Parama Purusha. Only powerful one man, Sri Krishna. He is a Lord, Supreme Lord, and all the gopis, they are Mahalashmi. Kamta Kamta Parama Purusha Kalpa Tarava Druma, all the trees, desire trees. Bhumis Chintamani, all the dust, they are stone of the desire stone. Bhumis Chintamani Ganamai Toyam Mritam Udakam Water is Nature Katha Ganam Speaking 
These are singing. Natam gamanam. They are walking. So this is dance. Nat Bamsi Priya Sakhi. Bamsi, this flute is our Priya Sakhi. He is meeting with Sri Krishna. So Bamsi Priya Sakhi Chidananda Jyoti. This is bright. All everywhere bright the place. So this called Vrindavan Brajavhumi. Here many, many says they are living here and doing austerities, bhajan sadham. Somebody they know this is good place. So Aprakita Guru Dham, Aprakita Vrindavan. Vidam Taste Samta Chiti Viralachara Kati Pare. So we came here, we should pray, and we should done what pranam here. So now we are going, so fast, I should pray. Aranda Maharaj, Sri Pad Aranda Maharaj, speaking English, because I don't know English, so excuse me. So he is speaking good, and something, and something, Rathananda Bhutra. So we should go now. So they are here on the board, pay five rupees. So Rasananda Prabhu, you should give. For Rasananda Prabhu, so together collecting they are. So all the money they give him on the board man. So now speaking something, say, Ibad Arana Maharaj, after them. Nama Shastam Manamapi Sachi Kuttamatta Surupam Rupam Tasya Grajamuri Purim Maturim Gostavatim Radha Kundam Giribaram Aho Radhika Madhavasam Kapto Yasya Patita Kipaya Shri Gurum Tamnato Shri by the causes mercy of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas, we have come to this place which is known as Belvan, Pujapat, Bhaktivedanta Chaitanya Maharaj, and Pujapat, Bhaktivedanta Vaishnava Maharaj have spoken so many sweet glorifications of this place. This place is called Belvan. Bel is one fruit. This fruit on the outside is very hard, and inside, very soft and sweet juices there. What is the meaning? The meaning is that by performing very hard austerities, oh, one cannot taste the sweet juice of Braj Bhakti Rasa. Lakshmi Devi herself, being in Vaikuntha, in the company of Narayan, became attracted to the sweetness of Vrindavan. One day Narad Muni was traveling here and there, and he came to Vaikuntha. And he began to tease Lakshmi Devi. Oh, Lakshmi Devi, your husband performs very nice pastimes in Vrindavan. You have never seen so sweet. There he's like an ordinary boy playing on a flute, grazing cows. And there he does one pastime. It's called Ras Lila. This is the most astonishing pastime. But I think it's not possible for you to see this pastime. In this way, Narad was telling some. Uh, Krishna Kata, Ras Lila Kata, and by hearing this, Lakshmi Devi, the desire came in her heart. She wanted to enter this Ras. Without hearing this sweet Kata, no one can have a desire to enter into Ras Lila. So with that desire, she left everything, and she came here to Belvan, and she began to do her tapasya. Who is Lakshmi Devi? We should know that she is Shakti of Bhagavan, Supreme Personality of Godhead. But she is not full Shakti. Shimati Radharani is Purna Shakti. She is the origin of all other Shaktis. Lakshmi Devi is her Vaibhavyalas Vigraha, the, her manifestation. So Lakshmi Devi came here and did Tapasya. Very, very long time she was doing Tapasya. One day Krishna came and said, Oh, what do you want? I am pleased with your austerities. I can give you a benediction. Lakshmi Devi said, I want to enter into Ras. 
Krista said, this is okay, you can enter, but you have to fulfill three conditions. First condition, you cannot go into Ras with this opulent feature of Lakshmi Devi. You have to give up this form and take birth as a gopi in Braj Dham. <laughs> she was thinking, oh, this is very difficult, but possible. What is the second condition? Krishna said, you have to follow in the footsteps of the gopis. You have to milk cows and collect cow dung. Oh, for the goddess of fortune, this is a very hard thing. So she was thinking, oh, this is a very dirty business, but anyway, it's possible, I can do. What is the third condition? Krishna said, you have to marry a goat, another coward boy, and then you have to come and meet with me secretly, not in public, not in a public place. You have to be married to someone else and come and meet with me. He said, I cannot do it. I cannot do it. Why? Because her praying, her love, it cannot overstep Mariada. There are rules and regulations and religion. But her brain is not so strong that it can break all rules and regulations. This is the brain that the gopis had. So, Udhavji, when he came to Vrindavan, seeing the love of the gopis, he has glorified them. He said, Nayam Sriyanga Unitantara Se Rate Prasada Swayoshitam Nalina Gandharu Jamkutanya Rasutsavasya Bhujadanda Vinita Kanta Oh. At the time of Raslila, then the gopis were so fortunate. They attained a fortune which Lakshmi Devi, the goddess of fortune herself, she can never attain this thing. What is that? Rasot Savasa Buddha Danda Grinita Kanta. At the time of Ras, then when Krishna saw that the gopis had become tired from dancing, at that time, he would himself take his pitamba and dry their perspiration, wiping the drops of perspiration from their faces, all with so much love and affection. And the kumkum from their bodies would come on his pitamba, and very lovingly, he would take that kumkum and color his own heart. At the time of Ras, he would see that their ankle belts had come off, and Krishna himself, he would be rummaging around in the grass, looking for the ankle bells, and with his own hands, he would come and replace them. And here, Rasutsavasa Buja Dandaginita Kanta, he would take his arms and put them around the necks of the gopis. Oh, Udavji has given this description, but what is his meaning and his purpose? If any child will come to their mother or father and sit in the lap of the father, that time they reach up with their arms, and hold around the neck. What does it mean? It means, oh daddy, give me something. <laughs> Mommy, I want something. So when Krishna keeps his arms around the necks of the gopis, what does it mean? He's telling them, oh gopis, I have, it's the time of this Ras, I have left you. But I'm begging you, please, never li leave me, never give me up. Because if you leave me, oh, then I will die. Please, always give me your frame. Because I cannot live without your frame. And Krishna is holding on to the necks of the gopis. Why? You know, if you go uh, to the any place like Haridwar, very high up towards the Himalayas, and you take bath in the Ganges there, then what will happen? Oh, the Ganges is flowing very, very swiftly with so much power. Here, if you take bath in Jamuna, no problem, you just go in and come out. But there, if you jump in, oh, then the Ganges will wash you very, very far away. So you have to take hold of the chain. On the gut, there's a chain. So holding this chain, or you can lower yourself down into the water like this, and you have to hold on very tightly. Otherwise, you'll be washed away. In the same way, the frame of the gopis is very, very powerful. And their Ras Lila is very, very powerful. Rasa Lasya Gita Nanama Satkalali Pandita. Prema Rambya Rupa Vesha Satkunali Mandita. Shimati Radharani is very expert in Ras and so much love at that time. So Krishna's thinking, oh, I'll have to hold on to the gopis and Radharani, otherwise I'll be washed away by their frame. So Udhavji, speaking all these glorifications of the gopis, has said, how qualified they are. But Lakshmi Devi, she is not so qualified. She cannot enter into this Ras because her brain cannot break all rules and regulations and flow naturally towards the lotus feet of Krishna. So Udhavji has glorified the gopis. 
Lakshmi Devi and all great sages and yogis who can control their senses. They do austerities for millions of years and they perform meditation. And when they go very, very deeply into samadhi, even at that time, they have no chance to do archan of the lotus feet of Krishna. They are not so qualified. But at the time of Ras, the gopis were to speak of doing archan of the lotus feet of Krishna in their trance. Directly they do archan of the lotus feet of Krishna. Or what to speak of directly doing archan of the lotus feet of Krishna. Nastam kutesu vijaru parirabhyatapam. Krishna himself, by his lotus feet, he's doing archan of the gopis by keeping his feet on their chest. So the love of the gopis is so high. Here at this place, there's a very good lesson for us. What is that? Lakshmi Devi is so qualified. She is the Shakti of Bhagavan. And many yogis, sages, Narad, the four Kumars, Brahma, Shuka, Bhishma, and the Mahajans, they cannot realize this frame. Why? Because they are not in the Anugatya of the gopis. Srila Rupa Goswami Pada said, the service of Shimati Radharani is very, very difficult to attain. Even the four Kumaras and Narad and other liberated sages and associates, they cannot attain this thing. Why? Because they are not coming in the Anugatya of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, in the Anugatya of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And conversely, those who, though being not very qualified, but they come in the Anugatya of Chishtam Brajaita Dharuragi Jananugami, those Brajrasik Vaishnavas, being in the Dham and following in the footsteps of Rupa Goswami. Though one may not be very qualified, if one will come in their Anugatya, then one can attain this very highest goal. So we are so lucky to be under the guidance of Sri Gurudev and Vaishnavas in this line of Srila Rupa Goswami part. For this affords us the opportunity that one day we can attain the nectar of the lotus feet of Radha Krishna, which has been not been afforded to Lakshmi Devi and so many other great personalities. Jai Sachinandan Gaura Hari Ki Jai Rupanuva Guru Vaga Ki Jai Shri Belvan Ki Jai Gaura Premanande Manchak Alpha Thurma Stark Falsing Kudeva Dabhi 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 You should give five rupees No more than no problem but you should give my and the Hari Bhuva Hari Bhuva जहाँ पर उपस्थित हुए हैं ये बेल बन है और उसको स्त्री बन भी बताते हैं तो आदर्श बन में ये जो बेल बन है ये तत्व बन है कभी जो बेल बन है कभी ये लक्ष्मी का स्थान है लेकिन इसलिए रघुनाथ दास को स्वामी मन शिक्षा में बताते हैं अभी तक का लखी पति रखी तो व्यमन आई नहीं क्या देखो अगर तुमको ब्रज लीला में प्रवेश करना है एक काम कर लो लक्ष्मी को प्रति प्रीति मत करो नहीं तो लक्ष्मी तुमको खेच करके वो बैकुंठ में ले जाएगी फिर तो ब्रज में जाने ही नहीं देगी लेकिन हम लोग बेल बन और ये लक्ष्मी को पास में हम लोग आए हैं लेकिन जो लक्ष्मी है लक्ष्मी चार तरह का लक्ष्मी है लक्ष्मी एक लक्ष्मी नहीं है एक जो मूल लक्ष्मी है वो श्रीमती राधा रानी है मूल लक्ष्मी जिसके लिए बताए लक्ष्मी जलन ग्रीच नख चलस्य कहते श्री राधा जी की चरण की नख की जो छटा है कहते लक्ष्मी राधा जी की चरण की नख छटा के भी बराबर नहीं है राधा जी के अंदर में जो प्रकाश है दूसरे लक्ष्मी कौन है कहते वो महालक्ष्मी है कहते वो कहा रहती है कहते उनका पास वैकुंठ में तीसरे लक्ष्मी कहते तीसरे लक्ष्मी कौन है कहते नारायण का वक्ष स्थल में 
जो रेखा रूप में वो एक लक्ष्मी है और चौथ लक्ष्मी जो चार तरफ चौथ लक्ष्मी कौन है कति जो चंचला है इसी जगत में कभी किसको धनी बनाती है कैसे किसको गरीब बनाती है जो चंचल है इसलिए लक्ष्मी चार तरह का है लेकिन ये जो वन है ये जो श्री वन है मूल जो श्री और श्रीमती राधा रानी थी मूल श्री है वन में गए एक दिन गोलोक वृंदावन में बैठ करके कृष्ण सोच रहे का देखो द्वापर युग में मैंने गया सारे लीला को मैंने आस्वादन किया है लेकिन एक चीज जो कि मेरा दिमाग से बाहर चला गया कहते तो वो क्या है कहते राधा जी का जो प्रेम की जो महिमा है जो राधा जी की जो प्रेम माधुर है मेरे नो नो इट्स ओके एकदम खराब कर दो ना मिल गया I took you. I took you already. Remember, I've taken you and this law many times. You can see. Yeah, you can see how old like these trees are. Yeah. Under these trees, mm -hmm. Lakshmi Dev have been performing mm -hmm. her austerities for eons of ages. Mm -hmm. So this is. You can see how they are. They look at the trees. Back. हरि ओ हरि बो जा दिस लुक लाइक बिल्डिंग सीन You know villages. Haribo, Sadhu Maharaj. Yeah. And me? Yes, my very good friend. He has his own video camera. Haribo. Pots. Hmm. Pots. Yes.
Sitting boat, you can snap. Thank you. You can see Vrindavan in the garden with the temples. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to swim, so everybody is disrupting him. <laughs> okay. Carry him, carry him, carry him. Uh -huh, throw him in. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> For the Yamuna was flowing as far as to this place and it was a mile long right now it's a small river and you can see all this is like the sand barn you know the bed of Yamuna and here is Yamuna now very far away here are some devotees <laughs> and devotees here <laughs>
If we just left the Vrindavan and we are in a, a town. <laughs> Uh, Shri Guru and Vaishnavas, 
In the course of observing this Kartik Brukrama, we've now come to this place. This place is called Narayan Sarovar, and it is situated in Narayan. This place is called Paitagaon, and this Kund is called Narayan Sarovar. This village is situated at the foot of Govardhan Hill. Why is it called Paitagaon? Pujpat Bhaktivedanta Tirtha Maharaj has just explained that here when Krishna was performing his Ras Leela in springtime, at one point in the Ras, Krishna disappeared and all the gopis were searching here and there trying to find him. At that time, Krishna came to this place and when the gopis saw him from a distance, they thought, oh, there's Krishna, and they began to come towards him. But Krishna, he wanted to hide. So he manifested a four-handed form. This is the four-handed form of Narayan that we see here inside the mandir. So when the gopis came closer to Krishna, they saw, oh, this is not our Krishna. This is our Ishtadev, Narayan. All bridge passes, they engage in the worship of Narayan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He's an Ishtadev. So upon seeing this Narayan form, then they folded their hands and they offered prayers. Oh, Lord Narayan, please bestow your mercy upon us and bless us so that we can find the son of Nanda Maharaj. And then they gave their pranam and then they went away and they carried on looking here and there for Krishna. After they had gone, then from a distance, Shimati Radharani was also approaching this place. But before she could get to Krishna, Oh, Krishna was there in her four-headed form like Narayan, thinking he could also uh, play this trick on Shivati Radharani. But the breeze was blowing in this direction and carrying the fragrance from the body of Shivati Radharani. And as soon as the fragrance of the body of Shivati Radharani entered into the nose of Krishna, oh, then two arms went inside. Inside, Paita means inside. So two of Krishna's arms went inside, therefore this place is called Paitagaon. And then Krishna, uh, Shimati Radharani recognized, oh, this is Krishna, my beloved. So what is the significance of this very beautiful pastimes? First of all, we should know that Brajendana and Shama Sundar, he is more beautiful and more attractive than Lord Narayan. Lord Narayan has 60 qualities, but Krishna has 64 qualities. He has four qualities which are not present in Narayan. Though they are one in Tattva, Siddhanta Tasto Vede Pi Shisha Krishna Srupaya Rasana Krishna Te Krishna Rupa Nesha Rasastiti. In Siddhant, by Tattva Vichar, Narayan and Krishna are one. But by Rasakata Vichar, Krishna is far, far superior, having Rupa Madhuri, the sweetness of his form, Venu Madhuri, his sweet flute singing. Lila Madhuri, his astonishing and unparalleled pastimes, and Prema Madhuri, he is surrounded by loving devotees whose love is unequaled of any devotees of Narayan. Also, when the gopis came here, they were not attracted by the form of Narayan. Sometimes those who do not understand Lila Tattva, they can criticize the gopis that they are not chaste. But actually the gopis, they are the most chaste. What if Jesus said, Kwe Mastriyava Nacharibya Bachara Dushta, Krishna Kutaisa, Paramatma Rivuda Bhava, Nanvesharonu Bajatovi Dushobi Sakshad, Sriyasta Nocha Gararaja Ivopa Yukta. Oh, just see these gopis. They are not Vyabachari. They are not unchaste. Actually, we are unchaste. Myself, Uddhav, Brahma, Vyas, Narad, all sages, Lakshmi Devi, all of those who are considered to be very chaste. And all the chaste ladies, Ahalya, Mandadari, Tara, and all, they may be very chaste to their husband, but upon seeing the form of the Supreme Lord, they become bewildered. But the gopis, upon seeing the form of Narayan, oh, they never give up their nishta, and they're praying for the lotus feet of Krishna. Only they pray to him, oh, please, give us your blessing so that we can meet with Krishna. So, the gopis, they are the most chaste of all. Another teaching here, Shimati Radharani is prominent. Her love is most powerful among all gopis. Because Krishna, he was able to display his four-handed form in front of the gopis. 
but only by the fragrance of Radharani's body. His heart became overwhelmed with Prem, and he was able, unable to manifest his Aishwarya in her presence. So, here in this place, the glories of the Gopi's love and especially Shimata Radharani have been manifested. Close by, there's another village called Itagaon. In this place, Itagaon, there's one painting in the temple. There's a tree, and it's very, it's a white color and crooked like this. Once Krishna came there, and being bewildered by love, he thought that this white, crooked white tree was Radharani, and he began to speak with very humble words. Please forgive me, I have made a mistake. And he was trying to pacify the man of Shimati Radhika, although it was not, it was a tree. Yeah. So this place is very glorious. We're fortunate to come here. I pray to the dust of this place that in some future birth I can realize this uh, transcendental Braj Prem. जब जब यहाँ पर आते हैं तब तब कई कई हुए नई नई कथा को परिवेशन करते हैं चलो महाराज जी पिछले साल जो बताए थे the name of the village is Paitha. Now for me this one condition, huh? Paitha. For me one condition I could not touch any point among previous speakers. So I shall try as my level best. I should not touch any point of them. So I am begging mercy for the Guru and Vishnavas. <laughs> so now it can may come in our mind. When copies came, Krishna was 400. And when Radhika came, Krishna became 200. What is the cause behind this? When Krishna was making rush dance, he disappeared from rush dance, stealing the heart and mind of gopis. So gopis are searching their heart and mind higher. Just like even if he steal anything, he left behind some clue. By the, by the help of that clue, the police can catch the thief. Similarly, Krishna disappeared from rush dance and entered in this forest. But he could not hide his smell of this fragrant of his body. As soon as he entered, he transferred into Narayan form 400. But Gopis was searching due to his fragrant of Krishna's body. They entered in this forest. Just like police cover the whole forest, similarly, gopis cover the whole forest and all around it. When they came nearer, they saw this is Narayan form. They told Josi, Sosi, Dubham, Namo, who you are may be. We are to pay our senses. Please be merciful, then we can meet with Krishna. After that, when Radhika came, Krishna could not hold his forehanded. What is the cause? Because Krishna desired I must be forehanded, that I can cheat gopis, none can recognize me. So, as soon as Krishna desired, Krishna desired potency, Jogmaya helped him to make him forehanded. And who is Jagmaya? Jagmaya is manifestation of Srimati Radhika. When Radhika had strong desire, I shall search Krishna. So Radhika was, Radhika is coming, Radhika was coming inside the forest. And Jagmaya is her manifestation. So when Radhika has strong desire, and Krishna also had desire, but Jagmaya is potency of Krishna, but manifestation of Srimati Radhika. And Radhika is main potency. So Jagmaya not help Krishna to keep his forehanded. <coughs> so as soon as Radhika came, to it in Radhika's strong desire, Jagmaya not help Krishna anymore. Then Krishna could not hold his forehand. So his two hand inside went inside his belly. So Krishna became here two-handed. So your main act is here of Jogamaya Devi. At first Jogamaya helped Krishna to hold his forehanded. And when I get desire, I shall search Krishna, then Jogamaya not help Krishna anymore. So this is the proof here. 
the prominence of Radhika here in Ras and everywhere. And Radhika is main potency. So Krishna could not hold any more his forehand dead. As soon as Radhika will not desire, Krishna can keep his forehand dead. And when Radhika desire, I shall search him. Yoga may not help him, then Krishna became two-handed here. Main prominence of Yoga here to cheat gopis and cheat Krishna.